back out in the pine forest. I'm just going to have a go at making a lamb jol fezzy curry from scratch. This is my new frying pan. I have used it once on Mam saw. It's a GSI Pinnacle 10. It's a 10 inch version. It's also available in 8 inch as well. But yeah, it's quite lightweight as well considering its size. And I used it for the stir fry on Mam saw, and I was really impressed with it. So yeah, I'm going to be making a curry today, a lamb curry from scratch. I've got all fresh ingredients. I'm going to be using the Bushbox XL and the Transit alcohol stove. I think it works really well. It's a good combination. I've used it before. I'm going to be using diced lamb. I mean, it's not the most lean lamb I've ever seen, but to be honest, I prefer that. I prefer the meat to have a bit of fat on it, especially in curries. It just adds more taste. The reason it's a funny colour is because I've had it marinating in the fridge overnight as well with paprika and um, the curry spices. Right then, so I've added the lamb to the oil. I don't really use oil that much when I cook, like bacon and burgers, things like that, I let them cook in their own oil, but when you make a curry, it's always important to add loads of oil because it helps all the spices blend together. In here I've got a diced onion, two garlic cloves, and a thumb-sized piece of fresh ginger. That's going in now. Can I have smell that garlic and ginger? It smells amazing that. Especially outside as well. It's a cold air today as well actually. About one degrees. This is where you need smelly vision so you can smell these aromas. It smells absolutely amazing. This is why I love cook cooking outdoors so much. Especially on cold days, cold winter days like this. Just added three birds eye chilies. I've added some mushrooms as well because I like some I like having mushrooms in my curries. The first spice I'm gonna add is some garam masala. And now I'm gonna add some cumin. It's starting to smell like a curry now. Just added half a tin of Napolina chopped tomatoes. I think that'll do as well. Don't want too much sauce. And there's only me having it as well. I won't be having any rice either with it today. I've got, got some naan breads. Some Sherwood's naan breads here to dip in. Should be nice. The last spice to go in is some turmeric. A nice squeeze of tomato puree as well. Right then, so there it is. Lamb gel frazzy. Just how I like it as well. I don't like having too much sauce. Just like to cover the meat and looks really nice, smells delicious. Just add a little bit of fresh coriander as well on the top. Yeah, you can't half tell the difference when you make it yourself. So we'll curry out the jar. So tasty this. Yeah, he added three bird's eye chilies, but he also added a fourth one as well, cut up into little bits. So it's not really spicy, but it has got a nice kick to it. If you're looking for a decent frying pan as well, I can really recommend this. The GSI Pinnacle 10 inch. It's also available in 8 inch, as I mentioned before. But yeah, it's a non-stick. As you can see, nothing stuck to the pan. It's worked really well. I really like the combination of the, the Changer with the Bushbox XL as well. Works really well together. Right then, I'm just going to sit off here now. Enjoy this. I'll leave the ingredients in the description if anyone wants to try it. I mean, it's really easy to make. Nothing hard about it. Really straightforward. All packed away. Leave no trace as always. 
See so what I really enjoyed that. You just can't beat a homemade curry, especially on a cold day like this. Yeah, as I said, I'll leave the recipe in the description. It's a simplified recipe, so it's easy to make and doesn't take long either. The temperature has an half drop now. Yeah, just a quick video today. Just thought I'd come out for a little hike, make myself something to eat. So I'm just gonna make my way through the forest and then go on. Really enjoyed it though. It's always nice just to get yourself outdoors. Even if it's just for an hour or two. You feel so much better for it. Yeah, it's really popular with mountain bikes this area on these tracks. Right then, I'm going to leave the video here. Just want to say thank you to all the people that are still watching my videos and my new subscribers. Don't forget to leave a comment, I'll always try and get back to you. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.